So day two of Maker Fair is starting now, and my goal for today... Nope, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry guys, the shaky cam footage is just not working for me today. Never mind the fact that I'm having to piece together a narrative when half of the footage didn't save because I was doing... You know, it doesn't matter why, except uh, if you want to help me ensure that it will never happen again. Low Poly Dino Kickstarter link in the description for the mailing list. And people on the mailing list get a special gift as soon as I figure out what that is. But let me just give you the thesis of what I was trying to say and, and the idea behind this particular video. I learned the hard way what it takes to get to Maker Faire, and it was an expensive lesson. Now, there's nothing wrong with going to Maker Faire as just, you know, paying the fee at the door and going in. The people at Maker Faire want you to do that, and there's a lot of people who are going to do that. But if you're going to travel from a far distance to come to Maker Faire, it's probably because you're a maker. And the thing about makers is, provided that you've made something, they'll let you into Maker Faire for free. All you have to do is just be a part of the show. You may have to run a booth or, or go around and show your thing off, but you can get in as a maker, and then you're in Maker Faire. Travel, lodging, still a problem that has to be solved. And I will definitely put more information about that in the link to the blog in the comment section. But... Until then, you know, just just know that, yeah, that's an option. You can go to Maker Faire. If you're a maker, you just have to have a project. Of course, the natural response is, my project's not good enough. My project isn't able to compete with those big fancy walkers that they're showing in the brochures or the really cool trucks and stuff like that. And you're right. But you don't have to. Because there are a lot of people at Maker Faire who aren't doing the big fancy stuff but have, have smaller projects and Today, I want to show you those projects. Now, there's one that didn't make it into this video, the smallest project of all. If you want to know what the smallest project was that I saw at Maker Faire that got somebody into Maker Faire for no cost, link to the blog, and you can go check it out there. But let's go check out the cool projects that people were doing at Maker Faire. Not the big fancy ones, but the ones that really had, for me, the heart and the passion and the really, really cool projects of the Bay Area Maker Fair 2018. Lighthouse Community Charter School in Oakland are making buttons. I made a button. They're also doing Automa, little little wheelie rolly machine things. They're so cool. Look at this booth. These guys are amazing. 44 Daughters by Sam brought some, some blank felt dolls and some buttons and you can sew on and make your own 44 Daughters felt doll. Felt doll, it's just a felt doll. How cool is this? These awesome dudes made a Zen garden that combs itself when it reads your stress rate on an app that they created to, to it reads your heart rate, your heart rate goes up, it starts a Zen garden for you to calm you down, which is actually like super complicated, guys. How old are you? This is amazing. So Pop-Up Tops, who makes these really cool t-shirts with little pop-up felts on it, are letting people make bookmarks here as well that yeah there we go filling up the maker bot <laughs> and you can do that it's it's not electronic it's not complicated it's perfect and beautiful i love this stuff whoop, 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 whoop. what you looking at so these guys from the 49ers stem institute here made a drawer that looks and fits into a wall i mean it's just a drawer and yes they gave me a Sour Patch Kids. You guys, winner! These guys made a lamp that you can lower to store stuff in and then bring it back up to store it up near the ceiling. And hold on, what is this? Bonus point for a laser cut sign. Also a laser cut lamp. Guys, well done! So these ladies are catching the pedal power from a bike to power low 
powered LEDs. It's probably adding some resistance, but not, not too much, right? This is, this is really cool. So this young lady's from a school here in the Bay Area who are teaching key people computer science and it's just, she's showing off their program. It's so cool. And these guys are doing Minecraft themed paper craft and popsicle sticks. Just so cool. Printmaking with Curious Jane. Wait a second. For girls? But I like printmaking. And these guys put a LED throwy inside an origami frog paper and a battery and electronics. How cool is this? These guys are doing a great job teaching electronics to kids in just brilliant, simple ways. Guys, I'm gonna steal this idea. Felt boxes, some with motors, some without. I mean, it's felt, it's not felt, what is this? foam board or stuff, but come on, no problem, simple. Techiekids.com is, uh, yeah, they're, they're definitely on the higher end of the tech stuff, but it's still all very accessible. Wow, guys, no, seriously, great move. These kids, all from a school with second grade kids, made a garden and they're showing off their garden here at Maker Faire. It's a garden! It's four square. It's just four square. Ah, Maker Faire. Electronics, projects, arts, crafts, and the smell of fried fair food. It's good. It's good. So this guy made a taser glove out of an old busted camera and, and just some aluminum foil. Yeah, so and he also made a lightsaber out of old Nerf gun parts. This, this, this is cool. <laughs> okay, this young lady made a, it, it's, it's creating a spiral graph, but it's doing it all with just weighted bars on pivots. They go together in three, and then she uses that third one as kind of the Z axis with a rope attached. Rope goes up there, comes down there, lead it off, get everything spinning, and then use the rope to lower it down. So cool! <laughs> Thank you. This BMO is also a retro pie running. You can play video games on him. And plus, I mean, freaking the whole cosplay. But that is super cool. Yeah, Bimo! The black light in this haunted house has charged my tie up. It's probably not even showing up on camera though, but trust me, it's glowing. So this guy has made a carnival game where behind he's got a magnet on an XY carriage moving your frog around and then you're catching balls that are falling down a pachinko machine like such a simple set of great ideas i love this it's so cool i mean i think mostly that makes the point though yes there's the weird and the hydraulics and the electronics but then there's also just booths of people showing off that they learn computer science in their school and that's that's all it takes to get here. So you think your project's too small? It's, it's probably not. Go ahead and submit it to Maker Faire and you might be able to get in as a maker and makers get in free. And then you're a part of the show. You're a part of the fair. Try it. I mean, come on, right? They need the makers here. So there's a chance it's not too small. <laughs>